Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, just right now, I'm just talking a bit of a queue. Seems to be like the ladies' day here for some reason. So, a lot of talk on uh, Twitter, YouTube about uh, golf being expensive or inexpensive. I'm going to try and show you how to do it on the cheap or on the book if you've got a budget. So, I've just got three examples to start with. Which you're going to put on now, and then we'll pick it up again afterwards. I'll give you my thoughts on it all. Okay, so another option we've got is go down to your local golf store. There's plenty of them around, so you can choose, come down and choose whatever you want. Uh, I mean, I've got nothing against them. You will find some cheap stuff if you want it. I bought my irons um, from the said golf store. And a firewood. So uh, they do have second hand stuff in which is good priced. Um, see where we are. I'll just sort of walk over here a bit, but you can probably see. Now we did ask if we could go in and film. Uh, and as of two weeks ago, I'm still waiting for a reply. So we weren't allowed to go in and film to show you what they had. So yeah, so option one. Is your local golf store. Have a look around, see what they've got. We'll keep your options open. Hi right, guys, we'll pick it up in the next one. Right, another option you've got if you're looking to simply buy yourself some cheap clubs is your local charity shop. Like the one behind me. So you could try that. Have a look round, see what you may find. You may find a putter, you may find a club or two. But it is worth looking. Um, don't just rush into it, have a look round, plenty of charity shops. Have a look round a few, not found much. Um, but it's worth a look. You might pick up a bargain. So don't forget, check out your local charity shop. guys, another option you've got, come down to your local club, see if uh, they've got any second hand clubs, because the people buy new and they trade in. So pop down to your local club, today we've gone down to Harvard, we're going to go quick and look inside and see what they've got. Um, we'll talk about it uh, shortly. Hey guys, I'm 
sauce at it. So that was just three options of what you can do um, to try and find yourself some clubs. Obviously, American golf is a good option because you can uh, you can test them out, which is another good option. And the one in Saltport where I was, you will find some. Uh, I think the cheapest is about forty, or it's about uh, or it's about hundred odd quid, whatever you want to pay. But they want some cheap sets for forty, which are a good make. Um, obviously, charity shops next. You can go in for weeks and weeks and not see any clubs whatsoever. Um, but as I was in the film there, there was a couple of sets. I've been in one today, or actually I'm in two today, and I've seen three sets of clubs. Mind you, they weren't top of the range clubs, or you know, something like a Titleist or something, they were Dunlops, which for a starter set is ideal. I think it was tight, uh, Dunlop's set of Irons and Donay drivers. Which is ideal, and I think it was four ninety nine. That was including your bag, so that's, that's, that's a bargain. So we picked that up. So it is worth looking around your charity shop to see what you can find. Um, but it might take a few weeks for something to turn up. I'm not saying you're going to pick up Titleists, um, Nike, Tailor Made, anything like that. You might, you might do, you might not do. It's very unlikely you will. But you never know, anything is possible, as uh, somebody has done on a previous Charity Shop Challenge, where they find lots of sets of clubs. Well, then your next option is your golf club. So you can go there, see what they've got. Uh, again, Hartford, where I went, they had some cheap sets. Uh, starting from four, 30 quid up to about. Uh, again, 150, 200 quid if anyone to spend. And there you obviously can test them out. So it's worth looking at your local pro shop. Obviously, if you don't want to go to your pro shop, then you have to look at eBay as well, which is another option. Um, obviously, Facebook um, Marketplace, that's another option for you, which is worth a look at. So you will find some, some clubs. But I'm sure, even at a cheap rate, even on eBay, but always make sure you uh, try them out first. You know, you might get them and think, oh, don't like these, which which happens. But, you know, it's a chance you take. Also use eBay if you want a trolley. Um, I pick up, picked up one for a fiver. So they are out there if you want to pick them up. Uh, same with your bags again, eBay. Or if you don't want to buy second hand, you buy some brand new one, you get one in a sale for about 50, 60 quid. I think my whole put together of stuff, um, which I had about a couple of weeks ago, was about two, 240, 250 in total. That's including all my clubs, my bag, obviously balls and stuff as well. So that's another option you've got. It is worth looking around to see what you can find. If you're looking at joining a club, as well, obviously to hunt around, in fact see what you can find, there's plenty of deals out there um, for people, have a look around, um, obviously you've got to look at what's what's right for you, when you can play, how many times you can play in a week, um, and again I think it all depends on the area you're living, you may find some areas are cheap, some areas aren't, um, I was over in Sheffield the other week, and it was six, I think it was six nine five for a year. Um, and it's a nine hole of course, but facilities were good. And you come over here, and you look at somewhere like Cheadle Golf Club. And you're talking eight hundred and ninety five pound for a year. It's a lot of money. Um, and if you like planes, it's probably even better. So always have a look around, see what you can afford, and when you can play. Because there's no point in paying all that money. If you're only going to play once a week, then there's probably no point in joining a club. You might as well use tee off times and um, come and play wherever you want to play. But if you want to meet new people, you may have to look at joining a club. Just check out the options. A lot of them have got options which are hidden. Speak to them, ask them if they've got any you know, off peak memberships, um, stuff like that. 
there's plenty out there, so have a look around. So yeah, so yeah guys, so have a look around, see what you can find. It can be done on the cheap, obviously if you've got lots of money, then it's not going to be, you, you can afford it. But if you're on a budget, you've got a family at home, uh, with kids, you know, you've got to think about your priorities. And unfortunately it's not golf in some cases. So always have a look around, see what you can find. And as you go along, you can always upgrade your equipment, which is another good thing. You know, get fed up with a couple of your putter, upgrade it to a new one. But it's better to have one in your bag that you can sell on. So I think I can tee off now. Oh no, I can't, they're still on the green. So yeah, uh, any, any comments below, just comment below what you think. You know, if you found somewhere cheap to buy your clubs, let other people know. Um, let them know where you bought it from, I'm sure it'd be helpful. I'll put a link in to obviously where I bought mine, which is American Golf. Uh, my bag was from a company called Jam Golf, so I'll put the link in there as well. Um, and obviously Hartford, I'll put in that link as well, so you can be able to look at that. So just have a look around guys, see what you find. Um, you can do it on a budget, you can do it on a budget, you don't need to think golf's expensive. And before I go, on your shoes, um, you don't have to look at golf shoes. To me, my only opinion is that um, AstroTurf trainers are just the same at the minute as golf shoes. And nobody would tell the difference. If you're wearing a pair of Nike AstroTurf trainers, I don't think nobody nobody pull you up on it. Um, on your waterproofs, try eBay. You don't need to go out and spend 200 quid on a waterproof set to buy yourself a nice cheap waterproof jacket and some cheap waterproof trousers. That's all you need. You know, you don't have to spend silly money. It can be done on the cheap. So, hi right guys, uh, let me know what you think of the video and we'll speak to you soon. Don't forget to subscribe and hopefully we'll have uh, some more content for you later in the week. Cheers guys. See you later.